foreign-owned factories in Vietnam burned by anti-China protesters. The latest spats between China and Vietnam over China's placement of an oil rig near the disputed Parasol Islands has resulted in the biggest protest Vietnam has seen in years. The protesters burned on at least 15 foreign-owned factories. The protest started in Vietnam's Binh Yom province, north of Ho Chi Minh City, on Monday. By Tuesday morning, large numbers of protesters on motorcycles surrounded an industrial park and started damaging any property with Chinese words written on it. The protest spread to four industrial parks in Vietnam's north, affecting hundreds of Taiwanese and Hong Kong businesses. In all, 15 factories were even set alight and numerous workers from China and Taiwan were injured. Some 600 people were arrested by the military yesterday, with one officer killed in the fighting. According to one Mr. Chen, a Hong Kong businessman with investments in Vietnam, the rioters didn't just target Chinese companies but also damaged property owned by Hong Kong and Taiwan businesses. One of the damaged factories is owned by the well-known Hong Kong entrepreneur named Marjorie Yan, nicknamed the Cotton Princess. Her clients include upmarket brands like Abercrombie & Fitch, Muji, Marks & Spencer, and Ralph Lauren. Two of the biggest Hong Kong invested enterprises in Vietnam, Taxhon Textile Group and Fitech International Group, which makes printed circuits boards and electronic components, also had their property torched and looted. Mr. Li, a factory owner who is also a Chinese expat, told us he removed any Chinese sign from his factory and tries not to speak Mandarin using Vietnamese instead to avoid attacks. The Hong Kong Business Association in Vietnam said they hadn't received any requests for assistance from Hong Kong business in the country. Hong Kong Security Bureau has raised a yellow alert for outbound travel to Vietnam. Some factories owned by Japanese and South Korean businesses were also attacked in addition to those owned by Taiwan, China and Hong Kong businesses. However, those owned by Taiwanese businesses were hit the worst of all.